What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing Dog Moon Rising in a an attempt to actually use Zombie's best friend in a deck. Decided to run this. Uh, it does create two minions for two costs. So that's pretty good. Each of those minions, if played together with Bad Moon Rising, will turn into a guy that costs five or more. This also synergizes with Unlife of the Party that grows every single time you play a minion. So we're also running Egg which will turn into a minion then turn to another one for only one cost which is amazing the egg works very well in the nebula if you play egg into nebula it'll give you one extra brain and then when it hatches it's another zombie so it gives you extra two brains netting three extra brains that turn ensuring that you'll be able to play your bad moon rising early as long as they don't remove the egg which they will do if they are smart uh, we're also running Quasar to be able to control. It also puts that little 2-2 body on the board. And again, that is very well utilized by both Unlife of the Party and Bad Moon Rising. Uh, Barrel of Deadbeard's final mission is not only going to be a good way of controlling to the late game, it's also a sticky minion. You know, you have a minion that's see if they destroy it, it still lives. Because it makes that 4-3, which is going to give you more Bad Moon Rising value. Of course, you're combining that with final mission in order to do 5 damage to one plant and 1 damage to the rest of them. Four, and then the splash from the barrel of dead beards. Um, so really cool that we have a very good control stat that works with Baboon Rising. And then the final mission itself really justifies some of the Garbo minions that we are running. Like if you play your dog and it buffs your own life twice, but it makes a little 1-1, one, one, which it very often does. You have now, a, you know, two, two cost four damage from... Um, from the final mission you also have the egg if it turns into something sometimes it turns something amazing but if it turns into something useless of course you're able to final mission it we got some bungee plumbers and some fruit cakes for removal uh, i think this deck's going to come together nicely so we're going to do bets for wins and losses so i'm going to play let's say i'm going to play these games are going to take forever uh, let's play eight games with this deck but i will be keeping track of luck score luck score is what i add arbitrarily um, to, <laughs> to uh, whether something lucky or unlucky happens. We have plenty of luck in this deck. We have what's coming from the eggs, what's coming from the dogs, what's coming from the quasars, and most of all, what is coming from the Bad Moon Rising. I guess we have Eureka also as a superpower, so let's get right into it. I will start the bets. If you think we are going to win 8 wins out of 10, vote yes. Sorry. If you think we're going to do 6 out of 8, vote yes. 5 out of 8 is going to be no. We're betting, of course, over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. And we're up against Town of Salem. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can grab an unlife. I wonder if you keep Nebula in your starting hands? Probably not. It's two brick. Oh, that's nice. Bulgening away, dog. All right. I'm thinking like one, two, three with the superpower and then final mission. This should be fun. Uh, we don't really have a ton of win conditions in this deck. There's just Bad Moon Rising. So we're relying pretty heavily on that. I feel like that makes that more fun. And the other thing you can do is really just buff up your Unlife of the Party and then use your Fruitcakes, your Final Missions, Bungies to remove whatever they play in front of it. Those will sort of be both removal uh, and activators. We actually got like three Final Missions. So our Eureka were these three cards. Uh, usually you play barrel in four just so if they play in a different lane and you get a second barrel you can do it like that. Uh, this is fine because the final mission will actually be able to kill. This is going to be a pretty good two for one here. Because we can kill anything and then the four damage kills whatever. So I'm going to go for final mission this turn. Because we really don't want to get wrecked by a strong. What is he even going to play on turn four? To be fair. If he has a wing nut, that would be trouble. If he plays like a <laughs> Starch Lord, get wrecked, Starch Lord. No one likes you. He's dead. You know what? Just for killing Starch Lord, just for having the opportunity, the privilege, and the honor of killing Starch Lord, five points of luck right there. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this guy. I think you have points of luck just for facing any opponent that runs Starch Lord ever in any deck. I think that's what's up. We're going to be going with the Quasar, get that superpower in. Woo! Shrink Ray. Definitely above average. Love it. Heal! The hey, what the heal? <laughs> get it? What the, what the heal? What the heal? Uh, we'll find a mission this Quasar at some point. He doesn't really, we're not really afraid of heal combo. We have, we can cover this environment very easily here. And I'm gonna play egg, I think more like we next turn. We need a lead. I mean I could play egg I here. I love having a big sexy man on my computer screen. 
<laughs> Hello. I'll put it here again. Dog and Quasar would want to be next to a minion. Chimney Sweep wants to be on height. So for the twice as likely chance. Okay, he missed. The okay, and he didn't miss. Bruh. Ain't no worries. Oh, it turned into the wrong kind of dog, but that's okay. We are gonna cover that, and we're gonna give him one of these. So this Quasar is dominating lane three right now. I probably should have done that first, right? It doesn't matter. Ooh, we got Barrel Mission coming up? I'll take Barrel Mission again. We gotta use these final missions. And this deck seems like it's leading very neatly to Bad Moon Rising. You know, you Swarm decks and then decks with Quasar, that's a minion plus, you know, sometimes it makes other minions too. Um, just seems to end up with a lot of guys on the board very often. We are gonna go Barrel Mission, that should be five damage, plus Bungie, that'll be able to destroy basically anything he does here. Which is amazing. We should keep be keeping dog score. Okay, well he did that. And the heels. Our reels. Wow, that went up to eight? Jesus. Ah! Stop! Okay, so we are gonna final mission this, and then I'm gonna bungee. So five plus two plus two will destroy this piece of garbage. I really just don't want him. <laughs> I know. I don't want him getting any more of that heal damage next turn. The cool thing is, is that this doesn't look sus. This doesn't look like a Bad Moon Rising deck. It's very unlikely he's going to play around it here. It looks like we have that full feel. That's why we didn't play, you know, if you have lanes and then you pass turn 7, it looks extra sus. But, yeah, he just goes for Soul Patch, and we are going to go for the Bad Moon Rising. Give me something good. Give me something good. That's what I'm talking about it's Zampa. it's Zampa, boys and we got raw zombie it makes it even better oh are we off to a good start here boys that is how it's done get rocked Zampa. yes yes i'm so happy i'm so happy Woo! the main character of the stream is here zomba yes oh that always feels so good nice soul patch bro next time keep it to yourself we're making it 21 points. 21? 21? No, oh, that's that's going into highlight count. <laughs> I gotta do more RNG this deck. I, I need to keep some more luck score. We need the highlights. That's what everyone wants to see anyway. I mean, let's be real. Are you not entertained yet? That was a great first game. We got that binary stars too. That was 18 damage. Jesus. Yeah, I know. It was just a warm up. Good warm up game, guys. Just getting an old. <laughs> Dang, I think this deck is actually really good because it maintains tempo on the board with Quasar and Barrel Mission. It uh, maintains tempo really well. Kinda cool. Um, we have four Bad Moon Risings. Keeping one in your starting hands is kind of sad. I think I'm going to not keep it in my starting hands. Do we need a bungee against uh, Grass Knuckles? I don't think so. Yeah, that's way better. Let's get rid of the egg. Oh, this hand is turning out to be a dandy. Let's put this. Doesn't really matter where. Just so we can put Dog on Heights, I'll play this in two. I like this to be on the ground because it doesn't die as easily to Spike We Sector and Rumble, which are the two main ground things that Grass Knuckles does. Yes. And <laughs> so much for that. So much for that. So I think we just spam barrel here. Barrel and four. There's also a play where you barrel into this and then when you final mission, it doesn't cost you anything. So that's awesome. Maybe I'll do dog on ground and then go for the chimney sweep on heights. Not likely, but it would be fortunate. Tough beat and fat beat combo. That, that's a nice idea. I'll, I'll write it down. And then, like, with Swarm. That's actually a really cool, neat idea. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll do that. So, I could Nebula here. I can also just Eureka Final Mission. I guess if he plays something that really needs to be removed, like a Captain Cucumber, I'll do that. If not, I'll just Eureka. The problem with playing this dog, though, 
The problem with playing this dog early, it's a little sad. I don't really know what I'm going to spend the rest of my brains on. Anything I play dies to the two splash things here. So maybe the nebula isn't actually correct yet. No, we'll wait on it. I could go face with this final mission. We got bonus attack. That's lovely. I think I'm going to barrel mission this turn. Then we'll have like eight damage to face, which is pretty amazing. I'm going to put this one on heights. We actually have Baboon Rising now, though. So if I Nebula now... There's no way to actually ramp up yet. Okay, we're, we're just gonna... We're just gonna play this slow. The key to playing this on Heights is now the, the first one that you explode always ends up with as a 4-2, which you don't like that on the ground against Grass Knuckles. So uh, I'm gonna actually Barrel Mission the... I'm gonna Final Mission the, 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 the one in Lane 1. And then this one will explode after. It'll still be a 4-3, which is does not die to his superpower. <laughs> Talk all the tech beating off. <laughs> Here, I'm writing you and I'm crediting C Blinks for that idea. <laughs> no, we're not calling it beating off. So that's Grass Knuckles would be Fat Beats and uh, Tough Beats. He has time to shine, so it sort of makes it worth it. I don't really know how you swarm that well with Grass Knuckles. You're basically just going to run it as a finisher in Guardian Package. Okay, I do think that we, um, that we do this now. So we is going to go face for 12 damage. Ridiculous. Look at the might of... Barrel of Deadbeards, man. He just pass, pass, and now all of a sudden he's got eight health. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with you, and we still have environment and two two different really useful tricks to play here. <laughs> But it's a reference, it's a beat. It's a beating, because we're, we're going off. We're going off with the beats. That's what it means. It doesn't mean... Wow, and yet you didn't call it Gargle D's Nuts. It's a making fall of Andrew Potter. Okay. <laughs> Read poetry. Ass beater? Maybe we'll call it ass beater. Yeah, there's that. That's not a good play. Uh, honestly, this two damage doesn't matter enough that I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this, this Muscle Sprout before it does anything. Such a sad card, man. Man, I wish we found a good Muscle Sprout deck. It seems to have potential. It's a, it's a powerful card that grows independently, just like spamming cards late. I don't know. And I, we're not even gonna need to Baboon Rising. I, I'd love if we were able to here. I'm gonna just Nebula, I think. Maybe I should have played. We can Nebula and Dog Bad Moon Rising next turn, which is amazing. Oh, look, he's protected now. Look at this guy. Look at this guy not doing anything. He doesn't have anything for the water lane. Oh, bro. Yay, you're gonna do four damage. Actually, no, you're not. I'm gonna just win. It's gonna be a shutout. Uh, the score is 1-0, right? It's about to be 2-0. It's guaranteed lethal even if we didn't have this. Is there a way to throw to make Baboon Rising possible? No, we can't throw free content. Alright, guys, we're just gonna increase the luck score from going from this re against this really, really bad dude. Go, Toxic Waste Imp. We love you. <laughs> We're gonna go up to 25, and we are 2-0 just like that. Didn't even need the bad one rising, man. Honestly, the Captain Deadbeards did... <laughs> they did a lot of damage. How much did they do? They did... They did 16. And the Toxic Waste Imp did 4. It's ridiculous. Guys? Easy. 2-0. That's awesome. I'll keep this. There's a couple of things he plays like Blooming Heart on 1. This is a fine starting hand. 
got that telepathy. Love this card. Yep. We will smash that. Don't need these threats. It's going to take a couple of um, months. It's going to take a couple of turns to get the barrel going. It doesn't really trade well against the Galacta anyway. So, so I could like unlife final mission next turn into Quasar. It's pretty good. I think I'm just going to spam this. Unlife does technically benefit from the cheese. Ooh, I might I might actually go Quasar first because he put a 3-2, but there's also Unlife Egg. Ridiculous. Unlife Egg, Telepathy? And then final mission later? Sure. Unlife. Egg. Now I'll take the pressure off the Unlife. It's a one cost 3-3. Three, three. Ridiculous. Love it. Dickweed. Can we get a 2-3, please? Nope. <laughs> Not even close. That's okay. Ooh, another egg. Another one. Uh, the environment happens for the overshoot. That's okay. That is okay. So, it's either egg final mission or quasar superpower final mission. I think we know which one we are going to do. We'll do the, we can do the egg next. Yes, we got an environment. Are you kidding me, man? So maybe we don't even have to final mission. Screw it. I'll take the extra cheese here. So we're going to get a one cost 6-6. Six, six. Who said on life of the party ain't good? Who said he ain't good? What does he got? Nothing. Uh, we can easily decide which one of these... We want to see happen. This will die to the splash next turn, so that's awesome. Wow, look at it go. So we don't need this one to live. I'm actually going to... It doesn't live anyway. So I'm going to do that. Now, that this will be at one health. This will be at... Oh, it's actually at zero. Never mind. I forgot. <laughs> I'm like went up to six. It didn't help at all. So now we're going to final mission, and the 4-1 dies for free. And we got Nebula. Look at the teleports. Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Shamrock, it's a one drop. That is called money. Money! Um, so yeah, we're just final missioning face, actually. So yeah. Yeet. Yeet power. We'll proc the block too. Love to see it. Get rid of that. Get a little ramp going on. Two damage procs the block. He'll have to use a meteor or his ultimate to kill lane four. Got the media. I love how we're getting extra cards. Look at the card advantage game, and we're just pulling teleports every turn here. Man. So here's this. This doesn't actually give us any, um, the ramp to Batman Rising, but it means we can teleport, and Freeze keeps our guys alive. Yes. Teleport will give us something here. Star Lord, who cares? <laughs> Come on, man. So, teleporting anything with two attacks will work really well in lane two. Got it. Good dog. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Um, so, we're going here. I'll use the freeze here to keep the dog alive. It's also free teleport. There's another free card. We'll take those. Okay, soldier boy. Freeze. Oh, man. Oh, man. This bungee hurts because he really needs the cards. And we're going to have a Bat Moon Rising coming right up. I think we'll take it. Yes. Well, actually, after Bad Moon Rising, we'll still have brains, so we can teleport this con man in after the Bad Moon Rising. If we play it first, obviously not. Bad Moon Rising, if he doesn't cover this environment, we'll proc another thing. Guys, it's coming again. It is coming. Let's go, BMR. Come on, give me something good. Whoa, we're two for two, Zombots. We're two for two. We're two for two. That's not fair. That's not fair. Miracle! 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 Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> what is this stream? This is gonna be the luckiest freaking stream ever. You know what? For two for two Zombots, we have 69 points of luck already. Unprecedented to be this high this early in the stream. Nothing unlucky has happened. We've had good eggs. We've had good everything, man. Whoa! 
fuck. What is happening in this stream? Wow, that's actually turning into one of the cooler highlights if you put those two together, man. That is one of the cooler, <laughs> cooler highlights we've had in a while. Yes! Yes! Zombot! Okay. Ooh, how do we do this? Command's good on one. I'd like something better to go with this unlife. We could just play patiently, though. I think this is gonna be fine. Conman is a fine play. I'm gonna play this. We don't really know where we want things to be. I'll, I'll give us the opportunity of playing Dogue and Quasar on Heights. That is a garbage play, of course. Conman is like the hard counter to forget me nuts on one. It's just so sad. We're doing the same amount of damage. It's bullseye. So, we could just go for, like, Unlife. I think I'm going to develop the Unlife now. These Conmans are strong enough. I, I think this is fine. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It means he can really... He has to go... He doesn't necessarily have it. He might just have Triceratops or Photosynthesizer and not have an answer at all to that. If Galactic Cactus and one doesn't do anything because it also just kills this guy for free, so... I think when you have other threats, that's fine. The Black IP's there, that gets Bungie next turn. He's playing Anti-Trick. It's okay, we dealt with the Forget-Me-Nots. Now it's gonna be Quasar, Bungie, or either of our other tricks. Quasar can go neatly in lane 1. Because even if we play one of our other tricks, the 2 damage still kills the Black IP, so his Anti-Trick card's really not getting the value here and one of the worst freaking superpowers. I wish this card drew a card. How does this not draw a card? How does Super Stench draw a card and this doesn't? That's the real question. No, not, oh my. Oh, that, that sucks. That sucks. That's going to be really hard now. If we could have Bungie, that would have been amazing, but the Forget-Me-Nuts takes that away. Oh, we're bricked now. This is very sad indeed. I'd actually double Bungie if I get an opportunity here. And I'll leave this 2-1, I don't care about that anymore. Can you please not... Not buff this again, immediately? Yes, so we actually have this play. It's so inefficient. But it works. We also have some card draw here, so we're actually... We're actually, I think, doing pretty good in this game now. Summoning... This costs two, so I might as well play it, right? I know buffing on life would be would have been nice, but yeah. I'm gonna do this play next turn, so let's telepathy and we'll we'll have a decent we'll have a decent chance of drawing into something good. There's more damage. He's down to ten health, just like that. Uh, I'd love to see, like, a final mission. We'll just kill the forget me nuts here. There's a bungee. Alright, let's take this out. This is good. Look at the- look at the unlife play, though, guys. Look how good the unlife is. The unlife is insane. The unlife is gonna be a 5-5 this turn, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's just more dogs. Should I try to kill the forget me nuts? It doesn't really matter. I think I'm just gonna ignore that and let this clear lanes for me. I think I'm just going to play this on... Well, I'll play, I might as well play on the ground. So it's going to be you. Um, the egg has a higher chance, I think, of being like a 2-3. So we'll put that on the ground. And then we'll play this one on heights for the chimney sweep. Look at the unlife of the party grow now. That's a really good, really good card. We don't... Do we know about his superpowers yet? I don't know if we know about them yet. Look at the dog party, though. And honestly, if the egg or anything dies here, it's okay. The unlife is going to be so inefficient for him to remove. I mean, it's a four-cost card. There's that. Damn, that sucks. Potato Saurus is like my nightmare every single time. There's another unlife. Very sad. 
Um, we don't really need the health yet, so I'm gonna just make him play around other superpowers. He's down to six. Could really use a final mission now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see what happens. Fan clown. Let's hopefully he just doesn't have an answer. We're we're so low on cards right now. Let me. But if he has like photosynthesizers and stuff, that's just gonna put us away. Did you not? Yeah. He actually conjured this from the potato. It's so annoying. It's gonna be so hard to win this game though. So much construction outside, so annoying. I'm grinding the whole thing. I did a nice soundproof room to stream in. Okay. Well, this is like a 3-3 three, three here. So that's awesome. One cost 3-3. Three, three. It, it, you know what? The Quasar conjuring this is what lost us this game, probably. It's better to make them play around other superpowers than to spam heroic health and them to feel really safe. That lack of safety is, is, is worth it here. Now, we, obviously, we have to do it. It's very unlikely from the bursts down from, from 14 health, you know? Uh, actually, a final mission still could win? Final mission top deck? Uh-oh. 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 Wow, that espresso was so scary, too. He's healing. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. Bad. Okay, this is almost for sure a loss. Discotron or Zombot? It doesn't draw a card, though. Wait. Okay, if we block, we have to roll three. Yes? Eureka? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be the miracle we're waiting for? Leave lane two. Leave lane two. No. 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 Oh. 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my gosh, we almost had that guy. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 in the comeback of the century, guys. Oh, man. Bruv. Yeah, it's minus 69 luck. It's minus 69 luck. 69 on luck. Oh, my God. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm just going to make this all one highlight. Rumsus give it and Rumsus take it away. Our Jesus give it and our Jesus take it away. <laughs> yes. It's true, Les. It's true. Biggest fail ever. Alright, guys. Alright. <sighs> I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering. Anyway. Let's keep at it, guys. We got... I don't really need Bungie against this hero. I mean, it would be nice. If people, more people played Haunted Pumpkin, I would probably keep the Bungie there. 
No. It, are we two and one? We're two and or is it two and one or three and one? Guys, you gotta keep. I, I should really be keeping a second scorecard, right? It's like hi, I should be done. Come on, man. Come on, Brev. Uh, we'll have the ramp eventually. For now, I'm just doing this. Getting on my van. People drilling outside. <laughs> Most annoying thing ever. Okay, that's okay. The chat is arguing if it's two and one now or three and one. No one would. No one kept track. Okay. The first game was against Wall Knight. We won that. Then Grass Knuckles. We won that. Then we beat Spidow and we lost to Grass Knuckles. So we're three and one. You guys trying to cheat cheat us out of a win? Come on, man. Alright, next. What do we do now? I don't have the Bad Moon Rising yet. So, I don't feel awesome. I think I'm just gonna final mission. Perhaps Nebula? He's <laughs> kind of ready for impact. And he's double striking us. That's nice. It makes me want a final mission less because it's such a bad card. <laughs> oh no, man. My god is to just play slow here still. I, I guess we'll do this to face. We want the one here to have less health and the one on the right to have more health. Let's just go face her. Plain Cosmic Fee. This would have given us block meter charge, though. Maybe that was a misplay. All right, so it's eight damage to face. That's a lot. We have a second final mission, so I might as well set something up, right? Let's see what we get. Oh, nerfies, nerf guns. Yeah, this sounds a really good plan. He got tough beats on my board. Come on, man. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Run that. Pat. So this will 3 plus 3 kills this. So we actually do this play. It doesn't really matter which one. I could have gone phase 2. I think killing this is 6-4, essentially. I think that's worth it. This man's running tough beats, though. Look at this guy. Uh, we'll go with this. I'm gonna save the Grand Lane for Nebula. We also want to proc the block. Oh my gosh, look at that. So we can actually Nebula and then Infinity Clones and then use other tricks this turn. Which is very cool. Then we can double Bungie. I think that is what I'm doing. So we'll have two left, so it's double Bungie now. It means he could, the chopper, uh, it means the chopper could do some other things, but... Let's go... You got heal. <laughs> almost all of his superpowers. Heal, bubble, walnut. <laughs> that play almost never works. I don't know why I even went for it. That's stupid. That was just plain old dumb. And this is a humongous problem now. I don't even know what to do about it. <sighs> I'm kind of not playing well. Whoa! Bro! Bro, chill! Bro, chill! He's moving that to a less bet less good lane. Bad Moon Rising, please. So on life, this will be go two, three, four, five. 
I think let's just start setting these up in lane one, I guess. There's no deadly one cost dudes, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, we got egg. Oh, this actually will go up to six now. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's insane, actually. Shamrock, yeah. Um, why not this one, though? Why not go face? That's weird. He's just protecting his own face. Got skunk punk, nice. <laughs> We're getting unlucky! <laughs> oh, this is not going well, guys. We need some kind of Badman Rising miracle again. Can I get BMR? Can I get some boxes? Let's make the six damage get blocked, I think. We can still wait here. If we top deck Bad Moon Rising, we're actually gonna have a pretty good board next next turn. We're at 75 points of unluck so far, but I think I think we can turn this around. He hammered back? Okay. I didn't want to see the final mission. I didn't like it. No, we can still get I wanna block telepathy bad moon rising is what I wanna see. Did we use Telepathy? If <laughs> card disadvantage, I don't remember what we got. Okay, okay, there's something. Eureka something. Uh, that was really bad. We got two environments from that Eureka. Come on, man. We're dead on rising. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, um. So we're gonna give him one of these. We have to play something first before the dog, or else it doesn't make the second minion. Give me something with two attack. Thank you. We have several. We have like two pots in this deck now. That's awesome. I hope he goes for spike weed second. Oh, no. Okay. We're dead. <laughs> We're dead. We're three and two, guys. We are three and two. Extremely unlucky game. 80 points. 80 points on luck. So... <laughs> Yay! I <laughs> need cell phones on me. <laughs> we're doing fine here, guys. <laughs> Everyone's getting depressed because we lost it. Guys, we're three and two with an RNG deck. This is a complete success so far. Ah, uh, came right after me, Mulligan Dog. It's okay. Everything's fine. This is fine. I think I'm gonna spam this on one. And then we're gonna go... I want to unlife late and get it at least to like four. I don't know. We'll see when we get an egg. <laughs> Guys, don't give up faith. We dominated the first three cameras getting so depressed. Here, what are the bets? I need to put this into perspective for you guys watching at home here. 81% voted yes for this deck. <laughs> Trash Bad Moon Rising deck. Hey, this is your fault, guys. I didn't tell you to vote yes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So he supered that. Uh, let's do this in Eureka. Oh, no. Well, it's kind of like a two for one. <laughs> Got the little removal. It doesn't seem fair. Let's get a good Eureka here. Let's get some good cards. Okay. We got Locust Horn, Thinking Cap, and Trick or Treater. Is Trick or Treater going to do anything? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he already used Berry Blast, so we, maybe we can Trick or Treater into Quasar next turn? Okay. Okay, there's something happening here. Trick or Treater this turn. It's a Gravestone. And then we'll... Maybe I should have quasar first. That's bad. Don't don't play like high voltage current here, please. Thank you! Now he needs a card to prevent the, the draw. I think we're doing just fine here, guys. I say... I say we're doing just fine. So let's go... quasar See what we get. Bats. 
Wow. Con man means we're committing to bats. Would fruitcake be any good here? I could just fruitcake and do the bats next turn. Alright. Bats also works here. Okay. Fruitcake's really bad here. <laughs> Really bad. But we get a treat, so it's worth it. And he's proccing our block a lot. Something. La 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 la. I think the bats is gonna go in three. And we got we I really wanted healthy treat there for the for the con man. That's annoying. Okay, so we're going with this. With this, and then bat, help, bat sugary treat, I guess. So this will be up to three. We can even get up to four with the sugary treat if we want. That's what we want. Yeah, there's probably going to be a better final mission later. That's probably a mistake. We have Baboon Rising. That's the good news. That final mission? <laughs> oh. Why does poon sound so inappropriate? I'm pretty sure that word is short for the Jamaican word for vagina. Pretty sure. Poon. Gotta get some of that poon tang. I don't know. And he quit. It's complete luck. It's complete luck. We're definitely ahead. Arguably. <laughs> very, very <laughs> arguably. That's how you can see it. In this stream, guys, that counts as luck and it counts as a win. We are four and two. We are four and two. I don't care. I don't care. It's all good. It is Citron. We won. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Can we get a one? Bad Moon Rising. I'll take Bad Moon Rising. It's our win condition. Solar Flare has that poon. I know, right? <laughs> she got that poon. I think Unlife goes on Heights. Egg goes next to it. Pretty sure. And then Dog the next turn. La 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 la. Yeah. It's time for Eureka, you guys. <laughs> Good thing Jack o Lantern is in here. Good thing that guy. Ah. Uh, Kelly the Paladin says I'll be seeing you soon. Are you moving to Toronto? Are you stalking me? Wow, look. Look at the value with the... We can go these two and then these two. I think this is awesome. In fact, I probably should... Should I make an explosion this turn or not? Maybe I shouldn't. It makes the unlife of the party less likely to live if I make an explosion this turn. I think I'm gonna not do that. I'm still gonna play this on heights. I don't want this getting spiked. We did. We had an environment, though. Let's see if we can get a good egg. I want that good egg. If we get a good egg, it's gonna be the goodest thing. But then this doesn't die, so we can't do the cat lady. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is such a good egg. Okay, 80 points. We're up to 80. Guys, it's also gonna grow the unlife. Is that the best egg ever? This is the best thing we could have gotten, I think, right? That's crazy. That is insanity. Oh my gosh, we have so many pets too? <laughs> What's with the pets? What is even going on? What is even happening? Is there a way for me to make a play and then also fruitcake this turn? I, I sort of want to like, like Nebula. Well, Nebula actually, no, we'll save that for later. So what do I do here? I could just like Abracadaver. 
All right, screw it. Let's 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 damp. If he has Shamrocket, that would be good, I guess. Oh, we have also Dancing Synergy. I forgot Backup Dancer. Oh, we also have Dancing Synergy? Let's go. Yep, so that goes up to four. Now, if it hits this, we're dead. It's a 50-50 for the dab. The dab is definitely hitting something. Can we hit the three nut, please? Yes! Yes! Yeah! Oh my gosh, we're so lucky this game. Yes! Get that please! <laughs> what was that game? What was that game? Bro! Bro! Okay, highlight comp. Highlight comp. Highlight comp. Highlight comp. Uh, you know what? My editor was saying we're running out of highlights. You gotta do more RNGs and stacks. Eureka! <laughs> uh... Oh, it's happening, boys. It is so many grass knuckles. I'll keep one of these, I guess. Alright. Uh, gotta keep that con man for turn one. It's kind of necessary. Con man goes in two, because there's two cards that like the opportunity to go on Heights, Quasard, and Dove. Especially against this guy. So he wastes that. That is something we would have had to play around for the rest of the game, and now we are home free. The only thing is Spike Weed Sector, which is so much less efficient. I mean, so much less efficient. Um, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna slow play this here. I don't want to even spam dog. I'm just, I'm gonna go like summoning Bungie. Bungie does deal with Triceratops here. No. Well, this keeps the con man alive. It's a little bit awkward because I probably am gonna have to fruitcake something else. I'm gonna really, really slow play this now. It's gonna be Bungie fruitcake this turn. Bungie will take out the 2-2. Two -two. And then, we're gonna need a, a card to activate all these. Unfortunately, we have too many cards now in our hands that want to be next to something. That is so annoying, bro. What the hell? Okay, well, we have to start doing this. This is so obnoxious. Damn it. Maybe I should have just fruitcaked. Things would be better. Can I get a card that actually... Okay, so it's like Nebula. I oh, don't know. Yeah, we're not in good shape in this game anymore. We're down to 12, too. This is so ridiculous. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? We're just stalling. Man, okay, maybe I should have gone face with that. It's okay. The moment, if we get like an unlife here, I don't know. This doesn't really do enough. We're going to need some really, really good Quasarts. And we need a second free cake for sure. There it is. Okay, slow play. This free cake is going to save our tushies. Let's hope he just doesn't play like Gatling or something. That's fine. That, if that's all he does, we are in the game. Yes! Can we get an unlife, please? We need a card. Even just Barrel would be fine. There's Baboon Rising. So now what? Do we go for this for next turn? I'm not feeling it, because we can only have a maximum of two minions survive this turn, and even that is a stretch. Maybe the extra minion isn't that important. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna start playing some cards. Let's see what we get from this first Quasar here. Oh my gosh. So we have... We're gonna have, like... I might not... We're gonna have Infinity Clones Bad Moon Rising on 8. I think that is what we're playing for right now. That's okay. He's doing... 6 here. Do I have to do this now? I mean, I could just go for Bad Moon Rising next turn. One of them always dies in here. We'll block two damage max. No, I don't think we do this yet. We do just have to try stalling. Oh, we're taking so much damage. We need something with three health now. Just to not die here. I'm trying not to die. Okay, maybe we'll get a good blow.
Blow first. And clones so we don't die. Chat, chat's being a little, little bit, little bit grumpy here. Let's go. Guys, stay positive. That's fine. Uh, we have a decent Bad Moon Rising coming. We should have like four. Well, we'll see if we get a Gravitry. That's not what we wanted to see. Uh, Minion anyway goes in two next turn. Please don't get time to shine. I want to actually play this card. Please, please, please. Thank you. One drop? Ooh. Yeah, we can't really barrel. We're gonna have to go for a miracle bad moon rising. <laughs> the barrel clears our board. Not a good idea. This has a better chance. We need that Zombot. You know the times we didn't need the Zombot? Now we need the Zombot. This is when we need it. Lane one. Protected. <laughs> we need something really, really good here. Come on! Viking, Imp throwing Imp. Imp throwing Imp. Uh, it throws a Garg somewhere. <laughs> well, we have to roll three now. And then get a Garg here. Is what we need. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Just, uh, the backup dancers. Okay, we're in the money. We're in the money. We're in the money. Money, 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 money. Here we go. We're doing 10 damage. Bungie Plumber or Final Mission wins now. Look at the Viking draining the block meter, taking that out of play. Winnable game? Winnable game? Winnable game? Winnable game. Winnable game. Winnable game. If he has plant food, we die anyway, so I'm playing the barrel. Winnable game. Winnable game. Come on. Yeah, Shamrock, that's okay. Why not lane? Well, okay, yeah, it makes sense. I don't care. We didn't need that. Win oh, he's got me. Oh, my gosh. Winnable game. Come on, Iron Jesus. I have faith in you. I think we win this, guys. Undying Pharaoh. Kitchen sink for the win. For the win. Oh, it depends on the transformations. Dude, come on, fake. Don't, don't, don't do anything stupid. Nothing stupid, please. Winnable. Winnable, winnable, winnable. Come on. This is the last one. Do not turn into something stupid. No way. No way. No. No. No, he healed. He, we don't win anymore. He don't, we don't win anymore. Oh, wait. Okay, we need to survive one more turn. We have a dying pharaoh. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, well, oh, okay. Is there any, we can get con man, I guess. Okay, con man. Con man, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's something. Bungie plumber, bungee plumber, no, okay. Okay, well, we still have have Undying Pharaoh, so if we can't deal with Undying Pharaoh, we still win. We still win. We still win. We still win. Come on, come on, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Oh my gosh, that stupid thing. Okay, he's looking for something, he's digging, the man is digging. That's a good sign, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Do not, do not, there's brain nano, so that's it. Wait, I'm dying Pharaoh, no, it's guaranteed, it's guaranteed lethal, no, we got it. We got it, brain nano, don't do a damn thing. Undying Pharaoh, undying Pharaoh saves us. Overshoot! Bam! To your face! Miracle! 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 Yes! Yes! <laughs> How did we win that? How did we win that? How did we win that? How? 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 <laughs> Lethal. Lethal. It's supposed to be 85 luck, but all of a sudden, it's 121 luck. Just like that. We ain't even done with this stream yet. We ain't even close to done. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.
Oh. <laughs> Take that, atheist. <laughs> That's right, Evermelon. <laughs> Wait, so so the score now is five and two? We're in a five and two scenario? I think it's five and two now, right? Right guys? It's just five and two, right? We're gonna have to go back and make an official an official check here. All right. What what are the bets? See, we're not keeping score. That's the problem. We beat the Wall Knight. We beat the Grass Knuckles. Uh, we beat the Spidel with the with the second Zombot. Then we lost to the Grass Knuckles, so that's three and one. And then we and then we lost to the Wall Knight, so that's three and two. Who had the Cob Cannon? Three and two. And then we beat Solar Flare, so we're four and two, who conceded. And then Citron, we kicked his tush, so that's five and two. And then Grass Knuckles, it's six and two. No, that was the last game. That was six and two. That was six and two. That was six and two. That's it. That's it, guys. That's a good way to end the stream, too, man. That's a great way to end the stream with an absolute miracle win. I mean, miracle. It's six and two. It's six and two. I count the guy who conceded. And that's final. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. I'm a believer, boys. Anyway, guys, that was the Dog Moon Rising. Dog carried. Come on. This is a really cool deck because it survives really, really well until the Bad Moon Rising. Instead of just running brain vendors and making it all about the Bad Moon Rising, make it all about establishing tempo. With the unlife and the eggs, everything came together. Everything was fine. Maybe needed a third fruitcake because it seems like we always needed more fruitcakes. Wow. All right, guys, that is going to be all. Hope you enjoyed. It most certainly did. That is most certainly going on YouTube. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.